The overall goal of this procedure is to genotype newborn mice and to generate low-density neuronal cultures on a glial feeder layer. This is accomplished by first rapidly genotyping newborn mice using their tail tips. In the second step, on the same day, the brains are dissected and cultured as glial feeder layers. Then, after a few weeks, another group of newborn mice are rapidly genotyped, and neuronal cells are generated from the animal's brains for culture on the preceded glial feeder layers. Ultimately, this method can be used for rapid and reliable genotyping, as well as for the generation of healthy neurons and glial cells. There are two main advantages of this protocol. One is that we can culture healthy neurons at a very low density for imaging experiments by plating them on a glial theta layer. The second advantage is that newborn mice can be genotyped in several hours, allowing matching of the genotypes of the neurons and the glial theta layer. I'm Jin Young Ko, a research assistant in the Harata lab. I will demonstrate the procedures for genotyping and cultures. Begin by adding 200 microliters of DNA extraction solution to each PCR tube containing a specimen. Place the tube strip into a PCR thermal cycler and then start the DNA extraction. When the extraction is finished, remove the tube strip from the thermal cycler and invert the